Welcome to Dark Souls 3. I'm your host, Baconator. Welcome, my bacon bits. It has been a while. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining me. We are going to play a new game today of Dank Souls 3. Dank Souls. Danker yes, than the last indeed. three of them. Because da da Demon Souls was one. It is called I'm going to shut the hell up and let you watch this here cutscene. lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. With, with minimal, you know, with winnable interferences. In here on there. North, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. I, I, I really have no idea what those are. They look like turtles. I don't know. The fire fades. And the lords go without thrones. Screw it. I feel like talking. If you've joined me in the past, today is a new day, okay? I'm returning for good. Jesus, that's loud. I can't I can't even hear the vibrations of my voice when I talk. There we go. Alright. This is Dark Souls 3. I have played this many times in the past. I've beaten it every boss. I've even done a pseudo speedrun myself of the game. So I know what I'm doing. Um, we are going to be doing a quality build. Now that is strength and dexterity. Uh, and I may throw in a power-up spell, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, ooh, ooh, the Abyss Watchers. That's a fun boss. They're really, really cool. And their arm is awesome. A lot of people use their weapon, but I don't actually use their weapon very much. It's an ultra great sword. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of those. They're slow. I like speed, personally. Uh, so that's Yorm the Giant. Anyway, as I was saying... These are new headphones, uh, the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. Uh, they're studio quality, studio quality headphones. Really, really good. They look a bit goofy, but you, know, you get used to it. I got used to them, and they sound really good. Yeah, Yorm is a giant, and he gets he. Once you get him down to about half HP, he becomes a fire giant at that point, and it's it's very frightening. I got a new boom arm, new new mic stand, which is why you don't see anything else coming from here until it's like there's something over here, but you don't see that. Eh. Eh. Bull crap. I'm better than that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Cinderella. That was a bad joke. Do we play now? Yep, yeah, this, that right here. Don't worry about that. It's it's not your concern. It's none of your concern. All right, my name. As you heard at the beginning of this video, is Baconator. Uh huh. Bacon. Crap. No, 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 no. Go, go back. Get, get in there. Capital B. There we are. All right. No more clicky keys. Uh, I am playing this with a controller. Uh, just for. Just for you know. Noise sake. It's a that clicky key keyboard, mechanical keyboard. You know, all that. The microphone's too close. I don't have one of those. I have a condenser microphone, a USB condenser microphone, the Blue Yeti. It is, uh, it picks up a lot. Way too much, in fact. Ooh, what is our... This would make the boss, the first boss, really, really easy. Mm. Here's the way I look at it. If I take the life ring, I know for a fact I'm not going to use it in the future. Okay, because it only adds a little bit of life and there's far more useful rings to use in the future. Um, if I take the Sovereignless Soul, that is a permanent increase to my total soul count, right? Um, 
so no matter what I do, it's going to help me in the long run. More so than a ring would. So I'm going to take that soul. He looks like a douche. But that's alright, because you're never going to see his face. Never, ever, ever. Mm, oh, perfect. It's already set up from the last one. Uh, don't worry about what I just said there. I had I have to re-record this. That's fine. I don't really care. It's a uh, it's the first time I've been back in a while, and you know what? I was bound to mess up. I was I was bound to do it. Um. At least now I see down on the bottom. Uh, I can I can see my microphone level bouncing on uh, the OBS window. Um, if you're curious how I record, I'll, I'll actually tell you real quick. I am using NVIDIA Shadowplay to record the game, which I didn't think I'd like to do at first, but I, you know, I changed my mind. It's whatever. Um, ooh, I actually knew to impress my bitrate, so I will, uh, once I spawn, I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back. Oh, and I use OBS to, to do the face cam, because I have actually a green screen behind me, uh, and I just don't like anything in the background, so I just put a green screen back there, uh, remove the background, and that's it. I don't do anything else. Uh, I can put, like, flames behind my face if I want to, but I don't, I don't really care. Alright, and we are back! I just had to change my bitrate a little bit, uh, so if the video looks different, that's why. NVIDIA Shadowplay is really finicky, like, I don't know, it... I'm a stickler for quality. Anyway. Ah! I'm not even gonna bother, I'll just explain to you the, the, the rules, trials, and tribulations of the game. This is a bad guy. There's ragdoll physics. He flies around and does stuff. Uh, these things on the ground just tell you how to move, do the basic moves. Um, if you're playing with a controller, R1 or right bumper is the uh, main attack. The light attack is what I'll call it. You have right trigger or R2, which is the strong attack. Left bumper or L1 is the block. Or secondary weapon, which can be uh, spells or sword or whatever you choose. Even a fist, if you want a left hand, a fist. Uh, Cestus, actually, Cestus is what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be left-handing for a while because they're really, really useful to parry. Or I might just keep the shield in that case. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, speaking of parrying, left trigger or uh, L2 is to use your secondary left hand. Uh, ability, which is usually spell casting, I think. I forget which button it is. We'll find out. Uh, or pairing, or miscellaneous thing that it does. Yeah. So, just in light of having to go back and re-record this, I think I am just going to make one long episode all the way to the bonfire, the main bonfire, and then I will make that one episode, maybe try to cut that down to 15 minutes or so. And I will do a second episode uh, right after that, because I feel like playing this game. This game's really, really fun. I actually, I actually enjoyed this game quite a bit. This is my, let's see, maybe 10th playthrough of this game. My very first playthrough I did... Hmm. I did just a, a general, like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing kind of build, like, strength. I did a ton of vitality. Um, I did a lot of faith and intellect, which is weird considering. Uh, I wore the Silver Knight armor. Ah, damn it. Ah, you, you bastard. You're bastard. Come on. I'm gonna focus. I'm not gonna talk about what I used to do anymore. Uh, it's got, pop, pop, yeah, there we go. Yeah! Woo! Got him right in, the, right in that stupid face of his. Yeah, uh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Woo! Woo! Last time I fought this guy, I did not have to use a, a heal, but that's, that's all right. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Oh, uh, come on, come on. Ow! Oh. Yeah. I did I did much worse that time. Much, much worse. Alright, so we got a Titanite scale and we got a soul of an unknown traveler. Souls if you don't know what Dark Souls is, which I don't know how that could even be a thing, but you know, hey, some some people just have not played this game. Maybe even not seen it. I don't really know. 
Souls, you go to your inventory here and you can see how many you have. Uh, you pretty much just use those. They're soul vessels. They give you souls, which are basically currency in this game. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm just going to pretend you're oblivious and haven't really seen much of this game before, haven't played it. So I'm just going to I'm just going to explain lightly as things go on as we progress here. Uh, this is a bonfire. Bonfires are checkpoints. Checkpoints that you can use to travel around or rest, as you saw there. Get your health back, get any rechargeable items back, etc., etc. Uh, magic, you know, stuff like that. I'm not going to make the same mistake. Last time I jumped down that little hill you saw to the right there, and I lost a lot of HP. Didn't die. Lost a good amount of HP, though, and it was a waste. Uh, I haven't played this game for, man, eh, three, three, four months now ish, something like that. Mm, quite a while. Hey, by the way, uh, whoop, <laughs> got him. Uh, hello to everybody out there who watched my videos uh, a few months back. I, I stopped for a little bit, stopped for a little while, you know, personal stuff going on. Wasn't really satisfied with the quality that I was putting out in my videos, but uh, I, I'd say I definitely am now, especially now that I'm recording um, two separate video tracks for my webcam and my game. So now I can do separate things with my webcam that I couldn't do before. Yeah! Ooh! Oh, what do you, what's that? Ooh, that's a butt. I stab it. I stab your butt. Oh, I got fire bombs. Okay, 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 okay. So fire bombs are very, very useful. Let's get rid of that. I'm actually gonna assign these real quick. I don't have homeward bones yet. Mm, no weapons, no secondaries. I'm gonna get rid of these. And I'm gonna put... Let's put that on. I'm gonna put the black separation crystal right here for shits and giggles. And we're gonna move on. Yeah, that's kind of a pointless little uh, downward area. It's not really useful in any way. I mean, so, unless you want souls. I like going around killing everybody. Especially when I die, I, I just go back and just rage kill everything. Everything that I pass. This is a you dear index index you you dear. I don't know how the hell to say his name. Uh, as you can see, those little black things in his back right there, that will come into play very soon. It's not very fun. Don't look forward to that. I wouldn't look forward to that if I were you. Wah! Woo! Ow! Shit. Ow. Ow. I'm not gonna die. I didn't die last time. Oh my god, god. Woo! I'm just gonna single hand it. I need my shield, clearly. I'm making too many mistakes right now. Wah, wah, wah. Throw that bomb. Get that bomb. Throw that bomb. Yeah. Get on that. And he is dead. Woo! All right. Two little hiccups there. Two, two, two small hiccups. That was it. No more than that. All right. Let's light this bonfire. I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to go straight there. And that's going to be the end of the first episode. Uh, just so you guys can feel like it was action packed. Yeah. Last time I did this, I freaking died to uh, a certain master, sword master, that will, uh, you, you, you'll, see, you'll see in a second, if you've never seen him before in your life. He's a douche. He is a big douche. Ow! You're a douche. I hate you. Yeah. You're rude. Frickin' rude. You just poked me with your spear. Awful. Give me the homeward boat in that space. So the black separation crystal is not for uh, invading enemies, such as other players. It is for your separation of their world, so if you invade them, uh, that item becomes very, very useful. Just in case you want to, oh, I don't know, GTFO because he's like whipping your ass or something like that, you know, rage quit without having to pull your cord. 
stuff like that. Very useful. Uh, or I actually may be sticking. I don't actually know. I don't. No, 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 no. Uh, black separation crystal is in fact for getting rid of NPCs that you summon. That's what they're for. Yes, that is a correct response. What was that? There's a dog over there. I'll go deal with the dog in a second. Uh, don't, don't. You didn't see that. You didn't see what I just aimed at up there. That's a surprise. Don't look yet. It's it's a surprise. I'm gonna circle around, get get some items up y'all. So embers, as you can see, uh, the portrait up at the top left. I have the HUD set to hide, uh, auto hide and auto come back when action happens or you know whatever, uh, just for just for look sick. Homer bone. All right. So as you can see, the portrait up at the top left with the uh, kind of crackly fire uh, picture up there. <coughs> Jeez. Where are you, dog? Where are you? Hmm. That means you are ignited. Uh, or... Kindled. That's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. When you're kindled, you have increased HP. And you can be invaded. Those are the two basic premises to that. So if you don't want to be invaded, don't be kindled. If you want more HP and want to be invaded, kindle. That simple. So this guy. Uh, I suggest not gaying, gaying him up off the edge because that would be bad. You have to kill yourself in order to get his stuff if you do that, which is not very fun. Ooh, yeah! Get it. Hey, you wanna get poked? Yeah! <laughs> I'm I'm wrecking him this time. Last time, not, not so much. Don't you fall off. I need your stuff. Oh yeah! Get it. Get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spank that little wrinkly ass of yours. Yeah. Woo! Oh god, no 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 no. Oh, oh god, oh no no no. That was almost bad. Woo! Get close. Come on. Come here. No, come on. I just I just need to poke you once. Just Yeah! It, well I I was I meant to charge up poke. There we go. Okay. Gimme your stuff. You suck! Give me your stuff. Uchi katana. Master's attire and master's gloves. We will be using that uh, Uchi katana. It's a one-handed katana, uh, which is katana is usually slashing slash thrust. Some are just slashing. They're very good weapons. It has bleed effect. Bleed effects are very, 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 very useful. All right, before I end this episode, I know it's a little bit long. Just give me, give me a break. Give me a break. Jimmy Money Peerless, I'll report you. Wait, wait, out, wait, wait, out. I'm gonna show you how to get a pure. Wee! Ah, man. On the last recording, I got that on the first try. I was gonna. All right, there we go. All right. So if you're wondering, that is how you get up on that tree. Oh damn it! I did was not paying attention what item we just got there. That is a. I messed up. Okay, we're not gonna go in those staircases yet. There was a staircase with an opening to the right uh, that would just pass, but we're not gonna go there yet. Instead, we're gonna go around. This will be the first uh, lizard of the game. Hello, hello, shiny little lizard. Wah! No! Stop! There we go. You gotta power attack it and power attack it. These little guys give you all sorts of good gems to use on your items. Uh, they're very, very annoying to hit. They're very, uh, especially sometimes you have to chase them. Yeah, oh, that's that's not fun. It makes it twenty times easier if you have a slashing weapon that goes up and down towards the ground. Um, because otherwise, if you have a weapon like this, most of the time they like to miss. So, and that's you don't like that. All right, Estus shard. So an Estus shard does exactly what you would think it is. This is an Estus flask. You, I'll actually, I'll show you in a minute. I will show it to you in a minute. First off, we are going to give an ember to one of these little guys. Oh, that's not one, my bad. We're gonna do this instead. Come on. What, what are you doing? Leave a bomb. Oh! 
Oh. I just almost just, just ducked straight off. So those are iron bracelets. If you know this game, then you know who the iron bracelets belong to. Uh, oh, also, come on! Why won't it let me put a bomb down? Don't be rude! <coughs> Don't be rude. <coughs> come on, leave one. Okay, there we go. For some reason, I had it on my heart hot bar and it wouldn't let me get rid of them. Okay. Uh, boop. Put those back on. Yes, we're good. Okay. So we have the Ash and SS Flax, which restores magic, or er, MP, magic points. Which we're, I don't know if we're going to use. If I didn't already say it, we're doing a quality build. This is a covetous gold serpent ring, or a covetous silver serpent ring. This gives more souls when you kill people. It will not give you more souls when you use it uh, with souls. Uh, these guys right here, which I'm going to use right now. Boop. A measly 50 souls, but you know what? At this level, it gives it gives all right. It gives something. I did not... Am I just... What am I doing with my life? All right, there we go. Boop. Give me more. Give me more. I want more. What the hell? What is happening? Am I tapping the keyboard with my arm or like what the hell's going on with this? I swear, I promise to you, I I, I was using two multiple at a sa at the same time. I don't know why it was doing that to me. Uh, this guy. This guy is one of the other. Uh, well, you're not another one of the unkindled. We unkindled. I don't want to talk to you. Give me your stuff and let me move on. What about? He'll disappear later, so it may be worth just murdering him if you want. Huh, it's a fatigue. Yes, you are correct. He is fatigued. Uh, we don't need anything from her yet. She's a shopkeeper. She sells you stuff, and you can sell her stuff. This is Andre the Blacksmith. We are going to reinforce the SS Flask with the Estus Shard. That's what SS shards do. It reinforce your S flask. So as you can see, we had three uses. Now we have four, and now we have five because I do not use the Astus, the uh, uh, Ashen Estus flask. Can we? Nope. We cannot do anything like that. We can't do anything like that. Uh, we're good. I think I want to talk to you. I think you give me an item, actually. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right, we got hurrah, hooray, from Andre the blacksmith. And then this is our main lady. This is our this is our basic bitch. Give me your stuff. Let me level up. I just that guy just stabbed himself. What are you doing? What the hell was that? All right, we need 16 decks for the Uchi Katana. We're gonna raise that to 15 strength. We are going to get some more of that. And I think that'll be good. Yes. So now we have a little bit more endurance, so we can run longer or make more swings. Uh, but we need to bow. So this is the Uji Katana. You can uh, you can actually dual wield. I forgot to tell you that you can dual wield by pressing the triangle or the Y button. I believe on Xbox controllers. It has a slash for that. It has a thrust. So, basically, all weapons have two sets of uh, attack attacks. It has a light attack, heavy attack, and then it has two-hand light attack and two-hand heavy attack. Sometimes you can even two-hand and parry with an item. Uh, uh, can we do with this? No. We have the charge with this one. That's the parry. This one, you just boop, and that uses endurance and magic. Or, uh, uh... You get what I mean. All right. That is all for the first episode of Dank Souls 3. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed it, give me a like. Give me a subscriber. You. New subscriber right there. And join me on the next episode of Dank Souls 3, part two, after this one. This game is so much fun. I know what I'm doing. I will explain everything. And it's going to be great. I have the DLC too, so we're going to play the DLC too. Don't worry about it. Um, as always, I'm your host, Baconator, 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye.